Normally, Kunsan sounds like this. But with the runway closed for repairs, lately, it sounds a lot like this. Without launching aircraft and having that extra mission set, they can focus more on their ATO play and, and work on where we need to improve when we're out doing par sweeps and all those other functions after a chemical or inbound missile attack. Airmen from Kunsan Air Base took a unique opportunity to test their ability to survive and operate while under attack, also known as ATSO. So we're really kind of focusing on the first two parts of our mission, which is defend the base and accept follow-on forces because right now our runway is closing so we're not taking the fight north for this exercise so there's a lot of heavy ATSO play, uh, a lot of um, work going on with our defenders, our fire department with runway uh, repair. Wing inspection team members evaluate, guide, and at times correct airmen as they respond to various scenarios. So what that means is I'm part of the wing inspection team and I'm going out and assessing all of our squadrons, um, assessing what the EOC does, and then um, providing that input back to the, the wing IG and on lessons learned from this exercise so we know where to target our training. Airmen responded to events like a bomb going off in a crowded food court, to an airman strapped with suicide vest, missiles, chemical attacks, and even attempted infiltration of buildings on base. I know people are out there working long hours. I know it's been raining. It's not, it's not the best environment, but you never know what's going to happen if there's a real situation. So it's great to test our capabilities and really make sure that everybody's on top of their games. And while the exercise is challenging, there's no better way to test our capabilities. But the bottom line for this exercise is everybody's trying to survive and operate after an attack. And when the jets do return to Kunsan, they'll be met by airmen who are even more prepared to execute their mission. Technical Sergeant Sean Rose, Kunsan Airbase, Republic of Korea.